year it's nothing unlike as exciting as it was last year. Very quiet, sort of, uh, I don't know, what would you call it, sort of mood music or something, whereas last year was a real sort of up-tempo beat. Well, there you go, the uh, Sydney Vivid Festival 2015. I'll take a few still shots so I can incorporate them into the finished product and uh, then we'll move on to the Museum of Contemporary Art that seems to be the, uh, the best vantage point. So I'll just look at the front for a while, I'll just uh, shut up yakking on. It's a nice mild night tonight. A little bit of rain was forecast, but fortunately it didn't, didn't happen. So I hope that's in focus. I think it is, actually. And look at the lights beneath the opera house. They seem to be in focus. We'll let that run for a while. I've got my favourite little spot just behind the... Uh, the light show projector room. It's amazing that uh, more people aren't aware of this little spot. It's probably the only, only place in the whole of the show where you've got a little bit of room to move. Set up your camera and away you go. Apparently they've expanded it this year. It goes, you know, they've got some over at Darling Harbour and more over at uh, Chatsworth, all over the show. I might come back later in the week and uh, have another shot, try some of the other venues. Well, it's pretty good, I mean, it's pretty impressive, but uh, I don't think it matches last year, not, not for the lights and certainly not for the music. I have to keep checking to see if this is uh, running okay. It doesn't go on forever. Oh, it looks, I'm trying to look at the dial here. It looks like I've got about six minutes left. Well, that's more than enough. Yes, yeah, so perhaps that'll do for now. I'll um, unassemble it all. I'll take a few still shots and then I'll put the uh, the old cheapo zoom camera on. So you alright? You happy with that? Seen enough for tonight? Jolly good. Okay, I think we're recording now. Let's hope we're in focus. So we've done our little stint at the, uh, the Opera House, Sydney Opera House, and now we're opposite the uh, the Museum of Contemporary Art. Oh, this is what I like it. This is pretty beautiful. The only disappointment this year is the music. What a dead loss. I don't know who... It certainly wasn't Joe Loss. I don't know who uh, decided on the music this year, but it's absolutely a total flop. Shame, really, because you really need the music and the light together. I mean, it's sort of, uh, I don't know, it, What's the word? Esoteric or something? It's pretty, pretty grim. Even the fairies sound better than the music. So I'll just shut this down for a second to see that I've got it in focus. Because I, I can't, I, I've never figured out how to use these uh, viewfinders you have when you're not having a viewfinder. So I'll just. Uh, Okay, well it seems to be in focus, so um, we'll let it run for a while. Now, every year when I come to this, I bring it to your attention that uh, a little quote from the Bible, a little, little story from the Bible. It starts off with, uh, with God saying, let there be light. And there was light. 
and he was overjoyed at the light. And then a day or two later, he created the sun and the stars, trillions and trillions of them, known to us as sun, some of them many times larger than our own sun. Now, the question I've always had, and I still have, come to that, is um, where did the light come from? If there was no sun and no star, and there wasn't a moon, but even if there had been a moon, it wouldn't have been a lot of good without uh, the sun reflecting from it. So where did the light come? And how did, how did he get the vegetables and the, the apple trees and stuff like that? How did he manage to get those to grow when there was no light? Mystery to me. Anyone got an answer to that? Better put that to some of my Christian friends. See if they can figure it out. But anyway, never mind me yakking on about my uh, hobby horse. What do you reckon to this uh, light show? Pretty damn good, isn't it? Pretty cool. I've, um, I'm just disappointed in the music. The music is a dead loss. It's absolutely hopeless. They usually come up with a really good score, you know. Pop, jiggly jig, disco techno sort of stuff. It goes well with the light show. But it's, it's as though they fell asleep this year. They forgot about it. It was an afterthought. Oh, the show. Imagine going to a discotheque with some good music but no light show. Well, this is the other way around. You've got the light show but no music. Well, you've got something sort of oozing out somewhere around. I don't know what it is. A load of rubbish. But never mind. I'm sure I'll come back next year and I bet they get it dead right next year. I mean, if you go on like this forever, I think that, you know. I might get a bit closer, there's some sort of pretty lights over near the entrance to the Museum of Contemporary Art. I might see if I can get a shot of those. I'll tell you what, the train coming here tonight was crowded. It really was like you see in sort of the, the new field of Japan, Tokyo, where everybody was pushing each other to get the next person on. Our services just can't cope when there's something busy going on. Okay, well, I think. You know, that's giving you a fair little squeeze of what's going on here. So I think I'll shut this down for the time being and see if I can get in a little bit closer. Are you alright with that? Uh, no problem? No complaints? Okay. Well, this is pretty good. I'll just let this run for a while. Yeah, but going back to what I was yakking on about, it's always struck me as rather weird that this all-knowing God created uh, light before the sun and before all the trillions of other suns known to us as stars. Where did the light come from? There was no sun. Bit of a mystery, that. Eh? And how did all the plants take root in 20 meters of solid ice? Well, maybe the earth was still molten in those days. How did the plants take root in 20 meters of liquid white-hot lava. All a bit of a mystery. But look, it's in the Bible, so it must be true. Oh, I see what I've done here. I've got the focus in the wrong place. I don't know if this will make any difference. Oh, that might have been why I wasn't getting a good... Oh, dear. Probably why I stuffed up that. the harbor thing. I've moved it up now. Yeah, that's rather nice. Uh, coloured balls, changing light. I know what I was trying to say about the music. It reminds me of um, Brian Eno's ambient music. Remember that? He made a series of records. Music for airports, music for public laboratories, all sorts. Ambient music. And okay, yeah, it's fine if you're just sort of lying around reading a book somewhere. But not very exciting. It's a shame, really. Uh, the music is all part of the deal. And 
uh, they forgot about it this year. Well, almost. So we'll, we'll walk a little bit closer to the uh, Museum of Contemporary Art now, see what I can find there. Well, here we are, uh, just in front of the uh, Museum of Contemporary Art. And um, here, yeah, this is the cafe, the downstairs cafe. Everybody dining there. I love all the coloured lights. Very simple, just ordinary globes, but they're, they're effective. I'm glad I pumped the ISO up to 800 tonight because um, I think things have come out a little bit better this year. So uh, that was a good move. I'll see later on when I try and upload it to YouTube. So yeah, that's it. That's all. How about that? Okay, now I'm going to move on to uh, Custom House. Let's see what's going on there. And here I am, sort of um, right up against the wall now. The Museum of Contemporary Art. Couldn't get much closer than this. I'm sort of uh, standing by the uh, cafe, looking directly up at the building itself. I certainly can't complain about the lights there, which is absolutely good. Yeah, I think we've had to get into that. Oh, I won't go on about the music. Just a bit of a disappointment. I love my music. And uh, I sort of figure they've let me down this year. I demand my rates back. Oh, it's a drum, but I don't pay rates. It's all good, eh? It's all good. So that'll do for now. As I say, I keep repeating myself. We'll move on to Custom House now. Custom House, here we come. Okay, well, we made it to Custom House. Uh, totally different light show over this end of the woods. Um, at least we've got a bit of sound here. Not exactly music, but tinkle tinkle something or other. Um, yeah, oh, I'll just uh, stand around here holding the camera in the right position for a while and see what happens. Really crowded, more crowded this year than last year. Apparently this is telling a bit of a story. I don't know what the story is, but if I... Uh, if I manage to figure it out, I'll pass the message on to you. music is better than nothing. I never was a big fan of Brian Eno. I don't think that was his music, but it was very similar. Oh yeah, this is the kids. Kids would love this. Can I go in a bit further or go out a bit further? Noddy, I'm not sure.
Okay, that'll do. I'm going to move up now. I have a 